Monday marked the first day on the job for the new leader of Maryland's Democratic Party. And interim chair Kathleen Matthews got right down to business, blasting Republican plans to repeal the Affordable Care Act. 347,000 people in Maryland alone would lose their health care if we repealed the Affordable Care Act. This includes 60,000 children. A bus served as backdrop for this protest, with West Baltimore the last local stop for the Save My Care Coalition's two-month cross-country tour, a traveling platform for Democratic leaders, advocacy groups, and residents in each city to tell their stories. I will not have insurance if this new bill passes. I will not be able to afford my prescriptions. I will not be able to afford to go to the doctor. Maryland's only congressional Republican, 1st District Rep Andy Harris, supports his party's efforts on health care. Harris is also among a small number of physicians serving in the House. I'm familiar with all the different ways that people use to, to uh, pay for their health care and the shortcomings of each. In a phone conversation with 11 News Today, Harris says his work as a doctor helps inform his political positions. He's opposed to the ACA mandate requiring people purchase health insurance. And during meetings with constituents over the weekend. People were most concerned, and I shared that concern with them, about coverage for pre-existing conditions. Uh, you know, reassuring people that uh, there's no plan that's going to come out of Washington that, that, that doesn't make certain that people with pre-existing conditions are, are covered and can obtain coverage. Harris says he met with more than 120 constituents during office hours over the weekend. He has a town hall meeting planned for March 31st. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Okay, thank